Behind me is Jimmy Buffett's Margarita Bowl at Sea Cruise, and I paid $135. We're gonna see if this two-day cruise is worth it or not. Let's go! You have to pay $44 for two days. Thing on the top of it. <laughs> right. Why is it shaking? Hi. Are you guys excited? Are like you it. are you excited? You're shaking a little bit. <laughs> I like wake up in the morning and she just like has this thing in front of my face every single morning. What do you have to say? <laughs> my armpits are smelly. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys enjoy. I think <laughs> All right, we are making it on the way to the cruise. Check-in took about an hour after getting parked and everything. The line wasn't too, too long, but it definitely was super hot in there. So bring some water. Oh, who's excited? No one's excited. Watch your step. I want to be in the vlog. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> All right, so we have a room key. We are on a uh, floor four, and I know we got a window room, so hopefully it's nice. Forty-one fourteen. <laughs> oh, our room doesn't have the chairs. The chairs that the two chairs that are usually right there. Okay, one thing about these rooms, it is super hot in here. I don't know if it's just because we're still at the port, but there's no way to turn the AC down, and it's just, oh my gosh. It doesn't look like there's a way we can change that. So hopefully it gets better at night, because I do love to sleep in really cold AC. But I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour. So this is basically the standard ocean view. We just stuck to the cheapest option. So here is the bathroom. It has a sliding door. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really outdated and old. Where is the... Also, I'm not really used to being on a cruise. This is my third cruise I've ever been on, so I'm not used to this, but the light switch is down there. The bathroom was a decent size. I just wasn't really a fan of the shower. The drain part was looking really crusty, and I don't really like shower curtains because they're kind of unsanitary to me. I do appreciate this big mirror in the bathroom, but I was trying to be in here as less as I could because it did have a weird smell. If you look at the countertops, it was chipping, and I hate when countertops have a yellow tint to them. It looks stained and dirty. I do appreciate the full body mirror. It's just a bathroom with nothing special, but it could be renovated for sure. Here's the hallway. It has like enough room i guess to walk in here it does come with a few hangers and you do get complimentary robes and i think it says margarita bill on it oh yeah that's cute and then you have like a storage area here you got a safe life jackets water that costs five dollars <laughs> not gonna be paying that that's ridiculous ice bin and then over here you have like your vanity area it's pretty nice has a good size mirror you got the queen size bed if you look closely, you can actually see that there's parrots on it. Which I think that's a cute touch. Goes with the theme of Margaritaville. And then we got the ocean view. I'm definitely gonna be excited to look out of this, although I don't know how often we're really gonna be in here. I will say it is pretty outdated. I mean, you got like the wallpaper over here and it's kind of peeling. Is there an announcement? Is the lighting fine? Yeah. You can easily hear out there, which means they can probably easily hear in here. Gotta be a little bit quiet. Um, but yeah, the space is actually pretty nice. Um, I know some rooms had chairs in it by the window, but we didn't get that room even though it was advertised that we were. But it's fine. I think in the end, we just get more space than those people. But for what it is, the bed seems pretty comfy. I don't know what I was expecting. It's very outdated. Um, yeah. This is Brent's first cruise. Yeah, it is 50 miles. It's like that. It's like less than us to Daytona. They park like right here. They anchor. T tonight we'll anchor and we'll just sit there at like I'm four in the morning. That. Nick's coworker went and said that they anchored like right here or like around here at like four in the morning and then at seven they just continue in and then they drop off. But we could totally make it there in like an hour and a half. <laughs> but they just want to be cheap. It's pretty obvious that this cruise line is the most cheap cruise line you can probably ever go on but you know for being able to go to the bahamas for just like half a day 
That doesn't seem too bad. And we only are spending like less than $200 each. Actually, there's a little bit more updated than ours. Is up, more updated? Yes. Ours. Ooh. Wait, ours is better? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. We got $50 too when we did it. They got $50, so they, they would switch rooms, but oh. now they're not next to us That's anymore. Right, so I'm, I'm legal age when we get in the Bahamas. Yay. Literally when we leave. So Nick and Jessica used to be right next door to our room, but someone wanted their room that bad that the cruise line offered them $50 so that they would switch rooms. So now they're on a completely different floor and it's going to be hard to communicate. So we are traveling with my little sister and her boyfriend Nick. So Nick and Jessica, that's their names. Um, we're going to go meet up with them and check out lunch. We are very worried because we both have to eat gluten free and I don't think they have options for us. Obviously, you know, they have things like fruit and vegetables and meats, but we don't really know what they're going to have until we get up there. So we're going to check out and see what food they have. Can you feel a smart street top on? All children of 12 years of age and under will be issued a wristband. This must be worn at all times. Let the use of cellular phones is strictly forbidden and all bars and the food service areas will be closed for the duration of the safety briefing. Thank you. I'm just confused on where the safety is. Like, is it? I think we have to go out there. I don't know. Yeah. I have a headache already. Guide us to the we finally made it down to the buffet. I was not impressed with the options. There was no allergy information listed. You had to ask the chef who was Indian, and I noticed he liked to make a lot of Indian food, which I personally don't like that. Everything just was kind of low quality tasting. As you can see, I just ate a couple things, and Brent's pork that he got was so dry, he did not even eat it. This is literally the dumbest port they could have ever picked. <laughs> so many industrial stuff here. It is 3.42 right now and we got here at 1.30. So we're literally just sitting here and is that your date? there's nothing to do. What? Is that your date? My date? Yeah, you dated yourself. You're highly, highly, highly yeah. do not recommend this cruise. <laughs> literally never go on this cruise. The buffet area literally smells like armpit. <laughs> and I have to hold my breath walking. <laughs> but other than that, we have a gorgeous view. I already showed them. It is not the greatest. Ooh, look how yellow those fries are. It's fine. It's just like a McDonald's fry. There's literally nothing to do right now, so we're all just bonding on the fact that we're all just sitting here waiting to get to the Bahamas. Huh? <laughs> like it tastes fine, but I know it's not good. <laughs> you know it's from the margarita mill, see? Yeah. <laughs> So, guys. This is my weather to tan. This is your weather to what? This is my weather to tan. <laughs> Towards the back of the ship is the adult only pool and there's also two hot tubs but towards the end of the night there's people in there that are making out who do not care and i just think it's nasty so i personally would not get into those hot tubs but it is nice that there is two pools they're just super super small <laughs> Definitely gonna come here to watch the show. What show? When did it happen? Wasn't it after dinner at 9 o'clock? Okay. Alright, update. It is now. 517 and we are still at the port. We did have a reservation for dinner at Finn's restaurant, which is like the complimentary restaurant you get to pick. Hopefully the menu and food is good. Hoping for gluten-free options or even dairy-free. I changed into this little short dress and Brent has on this cute button up with leaves on it and jeans. Leaves. Let's go. All right. Still waiting. I was so relieved to find out that Finn's does have gluten-free bread if you ask and they did have gluten-free allergy listings on the menu. They had a few selections. What is that? It's 
Is that a salad? <laughs> what? There is no gluten-free desserts, but there is always something gluten-free from appetizers to entrees. The portions were really small. Here we are just kind of joking about it. And my favorite thing I probably ate this whole trip was this pumpkin soup that was vegan and gluten-free. For dessert, the only option we could pick was a fruit plate and none of the fruit was ripe enough to enjoy eating. So I didn't even eat it all. Oh, that's fresh. 6.30 we finally set sail to the Bahamas and the weather was really bad and rainy so I think it delayed us a little bit but it was still really pretty and sadly the sail away party did get cancelled so I wish I could have seen that. I get that people, you know, come on cruises to have fun and all, but I don't appreciate the smell of weed. On the cruise, there's weed everywhere, and I don't know how they managed to get past security with that. They have a lighter system. At this point, it was now 9 o'clock, and we headed to the Euphoria Lounge to get some drinks. First drinks of the day. Well, at least Nick has been drinking. We haven't. The three of us had pina coladas, and I would rate mine probably a 3 out of 5. I think they are $12, and I personally did not taste any alcohol in this. And at the end, it just was so sugary that I didn't want to finish it. But I will say the waiter helping us was so nice. He was from the Caribbean, and everyone on this cruise ship is so friendly and has so much hospitality to share. I want to be on that one. <laughs> Carnival's all the way out there. Guys, we are about to hit the bed and call it a night. We really have not done much since dinner. You know, we explored a little bit up on deck, but it is still raining, so we couldn't really enjoy it that much. We did go to the Euphoria Lounge, and I did get a pina colada, which was my first drink of this whole trip, and I'm not really interested in drinking anymore. I do have a $25 cruise credit, though. So I probably will end up getting something else tomorrow. So Margaritaville only goes to Freeport, Bahamas, and you have options to do different excursions, like swimming with pigs, swimming with dolphins. But we are gonna go to a beach resort. It's all inclusive. They have a buffet and drinks, all unlimited. That's what we chose. It was $150 to do that. So Brent's actually not even here right now. He's checking to see at the front desk why we have so many different charges, and it's kind of all confusing, so I will say, even though heroes can sail for free like Brent did, you still have to pay port fees and taxes, fuel charges. On the screen, the fuel charge is $24 for two days. Service charge, $30. Like, there's just so many extra fees. Talking to other people on the cruise, they're not very happy with it. And even just looking around the room, I mean, you can look up and see that things are eroding and it needs to be remodeled. You get what you pay for. This probably is one of the cheapest cruises you can go on. The waiting around to leave the port took so long. It literally took five hours. I know that's probably normal, but there wasn't much to do because it was raining. Here's my little rant for tonight. Be like, Good morning, Bahamas. We made it to the Bahamas. We ate some breakfast. I rate that like a three out of ten. They had a lot of sausage and bacon. The eggs, though, were definitely powdered eggs, and it was so gross I could not eat it. It is raining right now, but we are on our way to our excursion. We are going to the Grand Lucayan four-star resort and it's all-inclusive um hoping for a good day definitely want to chill on the beach probably for, for the five hours that we're there the port here is also industrial looking um not super pretty <laughs> we have yet to see really blue water but you can kind of see it in the port we're excited and we're gonna meet up with jessica and nick because we're also going with them to this resort got my swimsuit on and we are about to head out you know, Nick and Jessica, just get here whenever you can. Oh, 
great. We did it, guys! We did it in the Bahamas! <laughs> Beautiful weather. It's our first time out of the country. <laughs> Me, whenever I see the kids in the locker room, no tug. <laughs> oh, no tug. No tug. about being here with y'all. I just really don't want to be here right now. And I hope you got that on camera so Margaritaville can see this and your freaking crew sucks. <laughs> oh no, no, they're really nice. No, they're nice, but everything else sucks. But I'm about to fill this water. I'll let you know how I feel. <laughs> changes that is why um, I'm now on my little camera but this resort option for the cruise I definitely give it a thumbs up there's a lot of people here and only certain amount of workers so it takes like we ordered drinks probably 20 minutes ago and they're still not here earlier you said you weren't impressed or something or what I'm fine right now please. okay so you changed your mind I mean now that we get free stuff <laughs> we walked in and immediately went straight to the beach you're supposed to get these wristbands. The cruise gives you one and the resort gives you a wristband as well. So when you get here, don't walk past it like we did because we were really confused and people were telling us you don't have that option to get all inclusive things. So don't do what we did. We were able to um, try some drinks. Definitely try the pina colada if you come to this resort. I think, I mean, I'd only tried Bahama Mama. Brent got a pina colada. I thought it was pretty good. Better than the cruise ship. Also, the buffet food is okay. People with, you know, allergies don't really have that best of luck. Now that I can look back, I'm actually super disappointed in the food selection that they served us for lunch. In the ticket that you buy, it's $150 and it includes unlimited drinks and lunch. But they were serving crappy food, nothing that a four-star resort should be serving, in my opinion. They had hot dogs and burgers that you can order fresh from the grill. But again, you would think, oh, you're going to the Bahamas, you get to eat some Caribbean food, you know, rice, plantains, chicken, like, I don't know. I just had expectations and it was nothing but cafeteria food. Low quality, tasted like it came from the cruise ship. I just wanted to add this part in in case you thought you were gonna get a really good meal. It's not a good meal. We were able to eat some corn chips. They had nacho cheese. Really few things that you can actually eat here. And the sun's out! Yes! Hello, YouTube. It's me. And it's Courtney. And Nick. Hi. YouTube. What is good? I think I'm four drinks in. Guys, these drinks are just pure sugar. They are. Pure sugar. Nothing to them. Now the sugar is making me so sleepy. I wish I never drank it. Look at them all around that dude. What the heck? You got that? It doesn't matter, it goes into my head as just chit chatter. You may think it's Run! 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 run. Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh, she ordered it. Come on, give her a hand, y'all. She ordered it. Give her a hand, y'all. Get up, y'all. 
egotistical or just very free But what you say I think none of it seriously Even if I know that what you tell you say I let you pretend to be me and make you late Cause I hate one one attempts to analyze that I despise But don't you get me wrong, don't let me get me wrong Cut, 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 cut,
Brent is desperate to have fun, so now he's taking a shot of tequila. And Nick! Can't leave out Nick. This is nasty. Ew. Jessica! Ew, you guys, why? Oh, he got a package, an alcohol package, so he had to use up the rest and they chose a shot. <laughs> So, um, it is currently 9.04. 9.04. We are about to see the Margaritaville show that they put on. I think they only do it once this whole trip, so we are waiting at 9.30 to see that show in the auditorium right behind me. day three and we are now checking out but something weird is going on we checked our balance this morning and it went up like $50 did you say it went up like $50 so we're trying to figure out you know what happened and I think what happened was the onboard credit that they gave us as like either if it was an apology it's $25 they gave out to people and we didn't use any of that I think we had like $60 worth of money from the cruise credit and because we didn't use it we have to pay for it basically what are your thoughts of this cruise? Should people go on it? No, this is the worst cruise I've ever had. Yeah, <laughs> and the only cruise. And the only cruise I've ever had, but it's the worst one. I mean, for Courtney, who bought a regular ticket, you spend a little bit, you spend about 180 on the ticket, and then $90 on tax, so over 200, and then you have fuel charges and surcharges and all that sort of stuff. And we literally only bought one drink Mainly. Like, I mean, like on my account, and I ended up owing $107 at the end. So, plus the excursion, which is $135 a person. So, that's in the end for two of us, it was $600. If I would have had a regular ticket, it would have been $700. For a three day cruise, that the food was awful, the atmosphere was awful, the people were super friendly, but you know, that can only go so far between the experience. All in all, I would not recommend this cruise to anybody. I hope they don't, I hope they go to business. Okay, so we just made it back to the port. Brent's asking for the second time about what is up with the onboard credit. He's actually gonna ask if, if we get one of these, will that automatically bring our balance down? Which, this is honestly all confusing. And I'm gonna say, if you've never been on a cruise, don't let this be your first cruise. Now that we're back, I'm happy to be back. This cruise has felt like a five day cruise. I'm not even joking. Yes, we did have a lot of rain, so that definitely ruined the experience a little bit because things were canceled. I'm definitely happy that Nick and Jessica were here. I think if it was just Brent and I, we would be more miserable than we already were. I just don't think this cruise is good and I try to make the most of it and I try to stay positive. The food was not good. They had some gluten-free options but I'd rather just save my money and go on a nice cruise or just not go at all and save it for another trip. But that's just me. So that was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and if you have any questions about this cruise leave them in the comments because I will be happy to answer them. I am just so happy to get off this cruise. Thank you for watching this travel vlog and I will see you in my next video.